Yeah, yeah. you got, you, you got no, you. okay, it's already on. Oh, okay. okay, so when you go to the farmer's market, you never know who you're going to meet. You're going to meet snobs, you're going to meet uh, homelessness, you're going to meet uh, rich people, you're going to meet pain ass bloggers, and we're going to meet, what's going to meet here? This is okay. Lindsay and you on. This is, this is me. My name's Lindsay. What's your name? My name is Pain in the Butt. Okay. Um, I hear you have a blog. Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm the biggest blogger in the Brunswick. Yeah. I'm also the biggest bullshit in the Brunswick. Yeah. They go hand in hand. So, this is different. Do you think local food is bullshit? Local food? Oh, you got me caught me off guard there. Which camera's on? Are you asking me before? Are you Are you going to interview? Yeah. Are you on? You you start know. taking it. Yeah, I'll sign. I'll sign. Okay. Yeah. okay. Local food? Yeah. Do you support yeah. it? Do I, do I support local food? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Why is it important? Why? Because it creates job, and it depends where the local food is grown. If it's grown near St. John, I'm against it, because the chemicals from the Irving uh, refinery. It all goes inside the, the food, the outskirt about 200 miles. So it's not safe for local food to be grown outside of St. John. Fredericton, the only thing you have here is the hot air from the politician and the beer glass. So that's, that's safe, that's okay. That's not gonna go wrong. You gotta have some fun with this one. So uh, yes, I support local food, but it depends in what area. Okay. Um, do you know who David Kuhn is? David Kuhn, the man that dressed up like he looks like a doctor and he listens to people, and he just listened and listened. The man with lots of patience, that I tried to make him lose his temper on me about 500 times, it never worked. I'm sorry. Uh, the man that kissed, gave me a kiss on the cheek because he seen me wearing a helmet, a bicycle helmet. Uh, the man that, in the opposition, he could promise the world. The man that, that could speak up on different issues beside a one-issue party, he proved that he's not. And uh, we need more David Cohn in this, in the house. We need more different members, different ideas of different parties. So how do you think David Cohn is different than other politicians? Uh, he's not really different than our politician. He's a good listener. I mean, like myself, you know what a politician is? A politician is like a walking psychiatrist. They listen and listen and listen, listen to different issues. They don't do nothing about it. So David Cohn is a good listener. But unfortunately, he can't do it. Who got their goddamn phone here when I'm talking? I have ADHD, I'm distracted. Okay. No, David Kuhn is good. He's good. He's, uh, he, we need more David Kuhn, different ideas. Okay. Um, what do you think it is for an MLA to do their job? An MLA to do their job? An MLA should be paid at least half a million dollar a year each. At least. Because an MLA is a walking psychiatrist on the street. They listen, and they listen, and they listen. And the MLA don't have to do their job. All they have to do is listen. Like me, I'll never be a politician because I like to talk too much. So, but you gotta listen, and you gotta listen, and you gotta listen to different ideas. Can you imagine being an MLA and listen, go to meetings, and listen to things you're not interested in, but you have no choice, you have to stay there? It takes a different kind of person to be a politician. But an MLA, all they have to do is listen to people. And if they're good listeners, they're good members of the community, they work within the community. Like, you know, like work, you got to start in the community level, volunteer different market. organization and be known. And as a reward at the end, they elect you as a politician, then you can collect a rich pension. But do you, is that a reward to be a politician? After you've dedicated your soul and life to the community, you want to be a politician. What do you want to be a politician for? With social media, oh my God, if you fart, <laughs> you'll be on a certain blog or Facebook. Blog is a thing of the past. Now it's Facebook. Now it's Twitter. You have to be a saint to be a politician. You, you have to have a clean record. Because you have these anonymous, all right, mine is on. You have these anonymous, <laughs> idiot, idiot. Oh, no. uh, that's going to be rejected anyway. Uh, these, is it still going? It's still going, these but my anon- hands are the, freezing. The, I know, it's all right. These anonymous people. <laughs> we gotta, no, we got to we gotta well, get somebody okay, else okay. here. The last anyway. thing. The last, the last thing. thing. I'm sorry. All right, the this last is thing. the end. These anonymous coward, jerk-faced people that leaves comments behind the screen, they're so brave. Trolls. Trolls. They're so brave, but I asked them, come and see me face to face. I never got an offer. They're idiots. So you have to be brave to be a politician. Okay, enough said. What's the website, David Kuhn? Um, David Kuhn, MLA.ca. There, go there and let's see if we get more, more Green Party. I like it. <laughs> okay. yeah, yeah. Yeah.